Hi guys, it's Ori. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a subscriber, welcome back, girl. Today you're coming with me for an 11 mile run. And in my head, I'm thinking, that's no big deal. You ran 10 last week. But in my stomach, I'm kind of nervous. So. But let me update y'all because I feel like it's been like two weeks. Um, let me update you on my shoes. First of all, my running shoes. Because we got some new babies in the family. So let me show you. There's a story behind these new running shoes. But I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram. Here's my Instagram. I met a new friend. Her name is Bella. I met her at Venice Run Club the second time I went. I haven't vlogged my Venice Run Clubs yet. We'll try to vlog a Venice Run Club soon. But I met her at my second one. Um, we I did a 10 mile run with Venice Run Club last Saturday. Yes, last Saturday. And um, sorry about my eyes. I don't know, does anybody know what it means when your eyes are constantly watering? My eyes have been watering for a month. That's why I don't even wear makeup at this point right now because my eyes just water. I don't know if it's allergy season or what. Anyways, so I met Bella and first of all, she came up to me because was, apparently there was a spider on my chest. So she came to take it off and I was just in the corner quiet because that's just me. Like I'm in the corner quiet until somebody comes up to say hello to me because I, I'm, I'm a people person but like you have to start the conversation because I get a little shy. So she came up to me and she told me there was a spider on me and then she's like, wait, I think I follow you. Like I saw one of your Instagram reels about the Venice Run Club. I, I followed you and I commented, but I don't think you saw it. So we found out she followed me and I followed her back and we we went to get um, coffee after Venice Run Club and we became friends. Then this past Thursday, she invited me to a run club called Run Venice. It's not Venice Run Club, but it's in Venice, but it's different. It's sponsored by On Cloud. I think they want you to like wear their uh, the On Cloud running shoes just because like it's good promo, first of all. Second of all, I think they just want people to try them out. But at the end of the class, you always give them back, apparently. Mind you, this was my first time going. So she saw the shoes on there, as usual. And she's like, okay, get, get the shoes, but get these ones. I have a feeling that they're going to give these away at the end. So I was like, bet. Like, you don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> so these were sitting there, and I got my size 8.5 women's. And halfway through the run, they rounded us all up. And they are just like, anybody that's wearing the gray and blue on cloud monsters, you can keep them. So just like that, I got a free pair of very quality running shoes. So, so say hello to him. They're beautiful. Gray and blue. I feel like they're going to go with a lot of things. It would honestly go with this outfit as well, but we're not wearing these because I'm going to show you the other new running shoes. But we got a little rotation going now, so it's kind of exciting. So second shoes are the ones I bought myself a couple days ago. And they're Hokobanda 8s because I had to rebuy Hokobanda 8s. I just love them so much. They're my favorite running shoe I've ever owned. There we go. They're so pretty. They're, ugh. The pink, the blue, just everything. Honestly, guys, I'm wearing these today. I'm breaking them in today. I don't know if that's smart because we're running 11 miles. I don't know if I'm supposed to be breaking in new shoes on an 11 mile run, but we're doing it because... Why would we not? They literally match my outfit. Um, so let me show you my outfit and let us get moving because it's time for me to go in like very, very soon. So let's show you the full fit, what I'm packing. You already know the drill. So this is the full fit. This color is gorgeous, by the way. I'm very happy I got this color finally because it sold out when it first came out. But so... This is um, the Honor Active Go To Seamless Top. Don't know the name. <laughs> Don't know the name, but it'll be here as usual. Um, in the color Moonstone Blue. Love these tops. These are the only Honor performance tops that you can get. Um, and they're perfect. They're just, I can't even describe them. They're just lightweight, but so like compressive, but not like tight. Like they're very light and airy. And then I'm wearing the Effortless Leggings in Moonstone Blue as well. We got a cute set going on today. And then of course my Nike running socks. We're downstairs. Um, most of my things are packed. I 
feel like y'all already know the drill at this point, but I love bringing you guys with me for my runs. It's comforting. It really is. So, shocks headphones, of course. Running belts. Perfume. Just girly things as always. Lip gloss, just girly things, chapstick. My lips have been super dry lately. Um, again, I think allergies are really bothering my body right now. I don't know, my lips, like, I noticed that they're like, there's some like darker patches because of how dry. That's why I'm lathered up in oil on my face right now. I don't know if you could tell because I'm just like really struggling with like really dry eyes, lips, skin. Like, so, always on me. This is my favorite chapstick ever, Ulta. It's pretty expensive, but worth it, honestly. Got my wallet, of course. Deodorant, of course. And my tripod. And now we just need to pack my water bottle. My electrolytes. So these are my electrolytes that I use. Um, I love these, very clean ingredients. Um, Cause you know, a lot of electrolytes have really bad ingredients like a lot of added fillers this is clean ingredients um so if you want to try out cure i've used it in all my videos basically code orifit for 20 percent off your first order so give them a try they have a lot of flavors i personally love this one but this is berry pomegranate but they have a lot of flavors so we're gonna pack one of her and then my date fixes, these are my Intra Run gels. They're not necessary gels, but again, I don't take gels because they have a lot of terrible ingredients and they just don't work for me. So I use date fix, um, it's natural energy, gluten-free, vegan, um, three ingredients, literally. Like the original is literally dates and water, that's it. I think I'm gonna need two for this run. 11 miles, two, maybe mile three or four, and then mile six or seven, that should be fine. So, these are my date fixes. Now, last thing, of course we need some water, but last thing, I need food. Guys, I swear I do not have any type of food in the house to have before or after this run. I have some snacks. I have these Simple Meals crackers. I'll pack these for after. But when I tell y'all I do not have anything to eat before, I did take a few of these at the Run Venice so this past Thursday. They had these sitting out to, for people to eat. I might just have to eat these because I don't have no mush. I don't have anything to eat. No type of quality carb to have. It's not looking good. It really isn't. I'll just have one or two of these beforehand. It is what it is. It is what it is. We're gonna make it work and hope for the best. Just gonna take some quick videos in the garage to start out my Instagram vlog for today. But let's go and we'll chit chat in the car. I um I thought I would take this time because I got a comment got a little bit of a drive ahead of us so um but i thought i would include my running story right now and just talk about that as i drive um somebody had commented and asked that a few videos back and i thought maybe tonight maybe today is a good time for that so i got into running june of 2023 so quite literally last year like it's been about a year um, I got into running for the sole purpose of weight loss. I, that's just me being transparent. Also, excuse my, uh, driver, my, uh, my wheel. Hot girls drive beater cars. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, I'm driving my little Honda Civic. He's so good to me. He's done me so well since high school. Um, so let's not talk about this. We will get a new car at some point in this lifetime. Okay. Anyways, okay, so I got into running for the sole purpose of weight loss. I saw a girl on my For You page because I felt like I was at a point where I was just lifting six days a week. Honestly, I look back and I don't even know how I was doing that because that just sounds so boring. I just don't know how I was doing that. Oh, I was at a point where I was just lifting six days a week and I felt bulky 
I and I know people are gonna hate on me for saying that I felt bulky but like I was lifting heavy six days a week and I just did not feel I wanted to be a little bit more petite like I've always I got to a point where I was like no like I want to be smaller I just want to I know like genetically I'm not meant to be skinny like I already know that I've been knew that already um, I'm just not I'm meant to have muscle on my body but that's fine like I can still have muscle on my body but still not be like bulky you know so I just got to a point where I just wanted to slim down a little bit and be a little bit more petite and smaller so I saw a girl on my For You page talk about walking 10,000 steps a day and how she felt like she was getting bulky in the gym so she started walking and getting her steps in sorry so I started walking and it was working I just started walking getting 10,000 steps in every day and from walking I went to running because you get 10,000 steps in quicker when you run you know so I started running and I saw the effect of that as well and then I just started doing one mile two mile three mile kept it at three miles no, nothing more than that so the competitive athlete in me was just trying to get better and faster like that wasn't even the so the purpose of me running but I'm just competitive with myself so and then I was like huh let me sign up for a 5k like this is gonna force me to be consistent in my training. I don't like how this is shaking, sorry. Let me just sign up for a 5K in June. So I signed up for a 5K, I think for, I don't know how I remember this, but June 25th, 2023. So I was just training for it, I did it, and I just like, I, I finished that race. I don't know if you guys follow my socials, but I've posted my races a few times, but I finished that race and I was like, I'm never doing that again. Like, I'm never doing that again. I just kept going and I kept increasing my mileage and it became like a game for me to like run and let's do five miles, let's get to six, let's get to seven, let's get to ten and like from there I did two 10Ks and then after, I remember after my second 10K, I was like the day after, I was like I can do a half marathon bro. So literally the day after my, ha my, my second 10K, I signed up for my half marathon. I signed up for my half marathon November 1st, 2023, um, and it was a charity half marathon, so like you guys know, so I had to raise up money for it, so November, and then it was, the race was in March, so I had a few months, so from there, I trained for my half marathon for 20 weeks, literally, and I don't know, here I am, like, here I am, so... I have a 5k scheduled for next month um, literally just for the sole purpose of celebrating a year of running and a year since my first 5k so that's what we're doing end of June and then I kind of don't quote me don't quote me I kind of want to do um, I want to sign up for another half marathon I don't know I don't know I kind of want to sign up for another half marathon but not give myself a time so like not be like okay I want to finish in two hours and da 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 minutes like I kind of just want to be like let's vibe like I've trained for this I've been running my long distances still let's go run a half marathon and see what I can do like that sounds a bit more enjoyable than my last half marathon even though I loved my last half marathon I had fun but I quite literally collapsed at the finish line go watch the vlog because it was just so hard on my body and I really pushed myself to get to my time but I kind of just want to sign up for one for, with just vibes, straight vibes. Like, go in and have fun, girl, and see what you can do, you know? So we'll see. Um, but that is my running story. Um, not much to it. We're coming up on a year of running. But going back to the original reason why I started running, yes, my body has changed a lot. Like, I wanna, I'm going to include pictures just if you have a Again, follow my socials because if you follow my socials, you'll see all of this. Um, but I'm going to include, like, side-by-side -side pictures of me 2023 before running and then 2024 almost a year into running so you can see what it's done to my body i don't want to equivalent running to weight loss i always talk about that on instagram and tiktok because you can gain weight when you're running because at the end of the day when you start running girl your appetite is gone it's gonna hit the roof it's gonna hit the ceiling it, it rises you still have to be disciplined with your food when you start running but if you stay disciplined with your food and you're running, then it's definitely easier to just like drop weight for sure. Um, but yeah, that's my running story. Um, here we are. I will see you.
you guys at Santa Monica. We have like a 20 minute drive, so. I have to start paying for parking at 9 a.m. So this forces me to get out the car and start running because it is currently 7 a.m. We made it. Oh. No, I actually gotta do it for real. It's different to like say, I'm gonna go do this, but now I actually have to get out the car and actually go do 11 miles. It's time to go. I'm so hungry. Oh my gosh, they're having a race here. I don't know if you see the orange tent over there. They're having a race. That's where I did my first 5K. Oh. But we are about to be four miles in. This is not an easy run. <laughs> My body's tired, but we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna have a gel very, very soon. Wish me luck. <laughs> about to be eight miles in. So basically in my head, girl math, just a 5K left. at the end of the day the run is gonna end remember that when you're having a hard run or any a hard anything it's gonna end eventually so might as well keep going it always feels so good to be done hope I didn't get a ticket it's 9 30 did it guys did it I'm exhausted the sweat is crazy I don't know if you can even see it <sighs> my lips are so dry I was gonna meet up with my aunt here because she's doing the Culver City steps but she isn't even there yet I'm gonna go home shower and then hopefully me and her are gonna go eat later so I'm just gonna go wind down much needed wind down oh my goodness I'm tired let's talk about stats really quick the stats are not there yet because I don't know why Garmin takes forever to load your stats it's actually irritating because that's one thing I like about my Apple watch that I miss because I want to see my my splits and stuff um, also <laughs> Okay, let me explain why this run was so difficult and let me explain this whole Garmin situation got a Garmin um, I, As you guys know, I had an Apple watch before but finally invested into a Garmin just because I feel like it just made more sense for me um, And my lifestyle and fitness and just Garmin made more sense So Garmin has a feature that it shows you your recovery So my Garmin said I needed 36 hours recovery before this run started I did not need to be running 11 miles <laughs> and I'm gonna start listening to it because it's accurate I was t that run I was first mile I was like oh this is gonna be a rough run I knew from the jump 
but now it's saying 73 hours recovery saying train easy or rest so i will be resting i'm supposed to have a upper body day tomorrow but honestly it's not looking up it's not looking up it's looking like i need to rest but we'll see i'm really loving my garmin by the way um I just love everything about it. It's just more fitness based. Whereas Apple Watch is like a lifestyle watch with fitness features. Garmin is a fitness watch with lifestyle features. And I just, one thing I really love about the Apple Watch or about the Garmin is that it shows you your sleep score. So you wear it to bed. So today's, my past, my sleep score from last night was 76%, which is very bad. But if you are a runner, I would highly recommend a Garmin over an Apple Watch because it's just better it fits our lifestyle more and i just feel like it has better features than the apple watch but we did 22,000 steps already today and it is only 9:49 a.m crazy things man okay let's go home guys i'm i'm exhausted i am i really am okay Whew. simple meals crackers I want them to sponsor me so bad. I'm such a loyal customer. Mm. You know what it is. You know what it is. And badness. Combination. Guys, when I tell you I have no food in the house, like I'm not exaggerating when I say I have no food. It's giving I might have salad for breakfast. Chop up my chicken. Dijon mustard and balsamic vinaigrette. Because also I this one. I just mix and then I add what needs to be added. So right now it looks like I'm going to add more Dijon. We have avocado. I'm surprised it's actually good. It's been sitting in the fridge for a minute. Salad then. Just gonna add a bit of pepper. Hi guys. So I'm just gonna eat and start editing my videos. Nothing crazy. Mm -hmm. Somebody just commented on my TikTok. I have started running because of you. That makes me so happy. Honestly, like, if anything, my only goal in life is if 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 I got one person to, like, get up and, like, move their body, then I, like, did what I had to do, you know? Because at the end of the day, that's, like, why I post. Because, like, I post for myself and to keep a diary of my achievements, but if my achievements and the things I do motivate other people to get up and do something, like, that is, like, a win in my book, you know what I mean? You know, like, someone might have watched my a, a video of me running 11 miles, like, today, and they might be like, okay, let me go get up and run one, you know? That's what really matters. It's really all that matters to me, so. <laughs> Those comments make me emotional. Mm, I'm actually really thirsty. I just thought about that. So, thirsty for something other than water, though. I think I know what I want. Let me show you guys. Do you know when you're thirsty, but you're thirsty for something other than water? This is the brand Swoon. This is the barbie pink lemonade i've had this in my fridge for months this right here will do it for you i'm a pink lemonade girl too i love pink lemonade this is what it's really like being a runner because i'm about to get back in my bed <laughs> i just took a shower i am i'm tired i'm not gonna lie i'm, I'm exhausted like that was really one of the hardest runs i've done in a, in a while like my watch literally i don't know if you can see it it's literally saying 71 hours recovery is what i'm gonna need i just showered i am in my i don't know if you can see this it's literally the best thing ever and it's pink it's comfortable i have the heater on right now i'm about to get in my bed and start editing and take a nap but this is what we got going on right now like i said i'm gonna go out with my aunt in the afternoon we'll see i don't know i'm just gonna get in bed and then wait for her to call me but 
I'll see you guys in a little bit. A few hours later, babes. Oh, I need to eat. Cause I'm starving. I took a nap, by the way. I edited my video, took a nap, all the things. One of my favorite high protein, I'm on a very big high protein kick right now. So, one of my favorite high protein, one of my favorite proteins is to, one of my favorite, girl, one of my favorite proteins to consume is tuna. It is 33 grams of tuna, girl. Sorry. As you can see, I just woke up from a nap. I like, nothing coming out of my mouth makes sense right now. So give me a sec, okay? 33 grams of protein for the can of tuna, so. I put in my tuna. Adding chopped up onions to it. Add two tablespoons of my favorite hummus. This is the lemon hummus from Whole Foods. I love adding hummus to my tuna. It just tastes. This hummus is so good, I can like spoonful eat it. Like Okay, so I'm gonna add two tablespoons of that. Salt and onion salt is gonna do it for you. Paprika. I grab my favorite seaweed. Add to your tuna. And we just keep doing that. The last step, but definitely the most important, my favorite sauce ever. This is the yellow bird sriracha hot sauce. I literally go through these once a week at this point, like one a week. It's really bad and they're not cheap, so it's not good. Definitely not cost efficient, um, but I just add a little squirt on every single one. How long did that take me? Like five minutes? And it is so good. Like, it's like a little sushi. It's like a little sushi, but without the rice. And if you wanna add rice, you can add rice too to the mixture. That would be good, to be honest. Mmm. Mmm. So good. I'm gonna eat this up real quick. Then we're gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna get ready real quick, because I gotta go. This is what we got going on. Very simple. These are the jeans I wanted to talk about. I got these jeans a few weeks ago, and... I've always struggled to find baggy jeans because they never fit my thighs or my butt or my and my waist all in one. Like I always figured that if I wanted to buy baggy jeans, I'd have to get really big ones and then get them tailored. Found these jeans at Urban Outfitters, sized up three size. I think I sized up by two just to get that real baggy look. And look at how they fit my waist. Like I literally can't make this up. They have like a um a belt in the back. I don't know if you see it. But these jeans have changed my life and I think I need every single color. I just love a baggy jean. So cute. And then these shoes, I've been wearing these a lot lately. Top is from Opali. It's just like a long black top that scrunches up. Bag is from Zara. Sunglasses are from Nordstrom's. I think we're going to Erwan. Y'all already know the drill, but just a simple fit for the rest of the day. How are you feeling two weeks post-marathon? I'm feeling great, Mama. Okay. Thanks for asking. Be honest. Oh, I'm feeling great. I okay. did the side of my, well, Culver City. Oh, yeah, she did the Culver City stairs this morning. Today. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think but, I'm getting there. I don't think I can run, but... Well, yeah, which is fine. I can walk. And yeah. Hike. You'll be able to run in like a week or two. Yeah, I think so. And I would like to get back to it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I'll do an LA marathon again, but definitely I'll do another marathon. So we're gonna go to Erwan for lunch and then we're going to the mall because I think she wants to return things, but also I'm never gonna say no to the mall. I know your auntie doesn't look like this. <laughs> look at her. Please. I'm trying to get like you. I wanna be like you when I grow up. I do. Serious. That looks delicious. If you're gonna get anything from Air One, make sure you get the buffalo. I'm gonna get sushi. I just don't know which one to get. Or well, maybe a salmon one. So, I don't know what that is, but it looks good. 
buy this one because it doesn't have rice. Because I'm not a fan of white rice and this one's made out of cauliflower and I've never seen that before so I think I need to get this. Salmon, cauliflower, and white rice. And here is my sushi. And I'm waiting for my smoothie. No. Garmin? I'm thinking about it. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> this one's cute. It's like a toy. This one's cute though, this white one. The Garmin Ven U. Venu. guys um as you can see i am back home showered face wash skincare done and this line in lips moisturized period honestly if i end up going to the gym tomorrow morning i'll i will continue this vlog if not this will be the end Love you. Thank you for coming along with me for my 11 mile run and for the rest of my shenanigans for today. Um, I'll see you guys either in my next vlog or in a second. We'll see. Good morning, guys. I made it up. I feel a little bit exhausted, but I feel fine. Um, we're going to hit like three exercises, upper body exercises, and that's it. I don't plan on doing much. I don't want to overexert my body. I don't even think I'm going to walk on the treadmill at the end. I think we're just going to hit like three or four solid upper body exercises just to get the pump. And we're going to go. Let me show you what I'm wearing because I got to go in like five minutes. It's funny because this literally, this outfit looks like a onesie, but it's not. It's not. I'm wearing my favorite Honor Active vest. I love this vest so much. I have like six in different colors just because they're so flattering and they just look at it gives you just like an hourglass oh, love them and i'm just wearing on active shorts in effortless collection I'm trying to figure out what shoes to wear i feel like i should wear my black new balances because that just goes excuse my messy area again but I feel like I should wear these. I'm wearing my interactive black socks as well. It's all black today. <clears throat> yeah, I'm vibing with it. I think so. One of the main reasons I go to the gym is because I like to show out with my outfit. Like that's why it's important to have cute gym clothes because if you don't really feel like working out for real, you can just encourage yourself by being like, I get to wear a new fit today. You know, that's my thing. <laughs> Alright, so let's head downstairs. We made it. I'm so proud of myself. This is the second week in a row that I've hit all five workouts in one week. Because it's just hard, honestly. It's really hard to run, especially when it's like distances and have enough energy to hit the gym. I'm not going to lie. It's not easy. But we gotta do, we gotta do. So this is the second week that I've hit all my workouts. Three, three running, three running days, two gym days, like I always tell you guys. Um, but I'm proud of myself, two weeks in a row. Little wins, always. Um, I know I'm not gonna get a full workout in today, but that's honestly all I need because Garmin, Garmin says I still have 55 hours of recovery. So it says easy effort recommended. So we will be taking a very easy effort, like, 
for real. My parents land at 7.20. It is currently 6.57. And then they're going to go to where I'm going to pick them up at. I should have enough time to get like a solid hour workout in. Let's go get this pump. And on the back. Wait a minute, all good, just a week ago. At my house, we party every weekend. So on the radio, that's my favorite song. Make me bounce around like I don't know, like I won't be here long. Now the thrill is gone. Got no patience, cause I'm not a doctor. No. Go, why is you lying? Why you Mufasa? Yeah, me Casa Sukasa. Got it strip it like Gaza. Got so high on volcanoes. Now the flow is so lava. Yeah, we spit that saliva. iPhone got message from Viber. Either the head is so high, girl, or we let my God be my God. My God, you pay for your friends. I'll take that as a compliment. Got a house full of homies. Why I feel so the opposite. Incompetent ain't the half of it. Saturdays with young lavish. Just sad as shit is I'm bad as it. Beats they took from the cabinet. Sorry, I'm just scared of the future. Till 2005, I got your back with you. Hold up. No matter what you say, what you do, but I'm alone, I'd rather be with you. Some niggas, I'll be right back inside. Two thousand and five. Hold up. 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 No matter what you say. Depending on whether or not it's worth it So insecure, no one's perfect We spend it with no shame We blow that like old train We in here like old game Or leave it like old bang And when I'm long gone Whole crew singing swan song Cause we all just ticking time bombs Got a Lambo like LeBron's mom And no matter where all of my friends go Emily, Fam, and Lorenzo All of them people my can vote. My new thing is definitely gonna be Listening to worship music on Sundays There's just something about it I feel so encouraged and ready to start my week um, I didn't get to go to church this weekend, so it was a good time with God, basically. It just felt good, like, the m m worship music is just so encouraging, like, it, I know, like, it probably doesn't sound appealing to listen to worship music, like, while you're lifting, but worship music is very encouraging and positive, and if you compare worship music to, like, rap, where it's, like, super degrading, like, <laughs> you know what I mean, like, don't get me wrong i love my rap music i love my pop music i love my circular music i'm not gonna stop listening to it that's just my testimony but worship music is like no other and i think i want to continue the trend of listening to it on sundays just because sunday it's the god's day and i feel like that's the best music you can listen to right but my parents are still i think they just got their luggage so i'm about to go back home because i need some food and there's no food in the house I'm about to go grocery shopping but there's something i can eat some type of protein i have my chicken from yesterday because me and my aunt got mediterranean food i might just eat some chicken y'all the struggle meals are so real this weekend this is this is like me being so real because <clears throat> my meals be looking put together a lot of times so sometimes this is how it really is i was literally right around the corner from my house and then my mom called me that they were on the way so just getting some gas now and i'm gonna meet them but now i'm a little hangry i'm not gonna lie because i was gonna get a little something to eat no i can't it's okay it's okay found these at Whole Foods. We got a coupon. This chicken brome broth I found at Whole Foods has 10 grams of protein, guys. For the games. This snack right here has changed the game for me. I like these ones. It has 
9 grams of protein per serving. And very low calorie, low carb. If you're in need of beef sticks, I recommend these ones from Trader Joe's because they're cheaper here than Whole Foods. $1.99. I'm pretty sure they're $2.79 at Whole Foods. So get your beef sticks at Trader Joe's. Also, coconut aminos. I've talked about them before. Get them at Trader Joe's because they're $2.99 and they're like $8 at Whole Foods. I almost forgot to get flowers for Buki. Going to Grace's graduation party later. I got her flowers and a card. Yay! Hi guys. Peppermint tea. I've been drinking a lot of peppermint tea lately. Lots of warm water lately. I used to go to a Chinese doctor and his one of his biggest recommendations for me when I was trying to heal my body of all of the sickness I was going through was to drink warm water. That apparently it's good for your digestion and just overall your overall health drinking warm water is a lot more beneficial than drinking room temperature or cold water so i've been drinking a lot of warm water and tea peppermint tea but do you guys see my new necklace so you guys have been seeing me wear this one every day this is like my every i don't take it off honestly and i should my ori necklace this is what I wear all the time, but I'm retiring her for a little bit at least. But my mom got me a new one with my full name. She's so cute. I'm excited about it. So pretty. And then she got me, it's like a tradition at this point because she got me that Ori one in Dubai and then this one in Dubai this year. For this, she got me this bracelet. So pretty. So we were just looking at all the things she bought. Also, they got dates from Dubai, and those dates are top notch. Here's the dates. It says dates from Dubai. These are medjool dates. They're delicious. Let's do this one. Y'all know I love my dates. I'm actually curious how much these are. I'm going to do the conversion. They are 5540 DHS, which is the Dubai currency. So I want, I want to see how much that costs in the US because y'all know dates are expensive out here, like $10 for like a bucket of dates. DHS to USD. Oh, wow. They're more expensive. <laughs> what? $14.97. Okay, I'm not complaining. You know, those weren't even that special. They weren't even that special for real. This is what we're wearing. I'm trying to like make it like casual cute. So I'm going to throw on these Steve Madden sandals and a little black bag. Considering I've been on my no makeup vibe for a minute now, I did a decent job. Hmm, so I'm not, I'm not I'm completely in love with everything. But I think I've just gotten so used to my face without makeup that I don't like what I look like with makeup on. We're going to take the garment off. I don't ever want to be one of those people that wears fitness watches with a nice outfit. Really quick, going to make my protein shake. Because we got to get our protein in. You already know. Yeah, let me show you how I make it. Really? 